I'm Wolf Blitzer, and you're in the Situation Room. In 1961, after the disastrous Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba, President John F. Kennedy determined that future presidents would need a dedicated crisis management center, a clearinghouse where all critical information could be made immediately available to the president and the president's advisors, a secure place, free of distractions, where highly classified intelligence could be analyzed and discussed. Since its inception, the Situation Room has served as the crisis center for presidential decision-making. Every president since Kennedy has had to make some of the most difficult decisions of their presidency, often facing life and death situations. Here you see President Obama overseeing Operation Neptune Spear that brought down Osama bin Laden in 2011. In the late 1960s, President Johnson managed the bombing campaign in Vietnam from the Situation Room. In 1998, President Clinton ordered military action in response to Al-Qaeda's bombings of American embassies. And in 2003, President George W. Bush initiated the Iraq War. But the Situation Room is not just a single room. It sits at the heart of an entire communications facility in the West Wing of the White House. Support staff of the White House Communications Agency man their stations 24 hours a day, providing up-to-date news, intelligence, and communications. In 2006, the Situation Room underwent a technological update. White House officials preserved the two key rooms of the original Situation Room complex. That's where you're sitting right now. Very few people can say that they have been in the White House Situation Room. You now join their ranks. It is within these walls that you embark on your own Situation Room experience today. Good luck.